seems with the advent of the West Sydney derby and the Melbourne derby that the F3 derby seems to have lost its gloss. But I imagine that's not the case for you guys. Yeah, not to us it hasn't. Um, and probably not to the fans up here, I don't think it has. So, look, it's going to be a massive game and we're pumped. Is there still some hatred there? Always. It's a local derby and um, I know for a fact that, that it's the game that we most want to win. He's playing Central Coast at home, so we're, good, we're definitely going to be up for it. Is it just the game that generates the hatred or is there some players there that you don't particularly like in their team? Not really. It's just, I think it's just the, you know, geographical location of the fact that they're the closest team to us and they're the ones who want to compete with for fans and for, for membership and, and support so um, I think that's just how, how the rivalry starts. So given the, the, the results in the first three games is it a plus to be playing them now given the, you know, the history between the two clubs? I don't know. I, to be honest, we're not really too focused on the results at the moment in those past few games because it's so early on in the season and we're just looking at the positives out of last week's game. We went away to Wellington and, and uh, got a point and we played quite well and probably should have won. And even the week before against Perth, I, I still feel that we should have won. So if we keep playing that style of football, we'll win more than we'll lose. Can the rivalry get to the point where it's distracting? Uh, not for me. Uh, I can't really speak on behalf of everyone, but, but, but not for me. Um, it is just another game. It's just that... Obviously, there's that little bit of banter bit between teams and between players and, and obviously between the fans. And I think that's the biggest thing. The fans really get behind this game and the Newcastle people really want to see us, really want to see us beat Central Coast. And so we really want to reflect that in our attitude. The fact they're champions, does that add to the occasion, do you think? Yeah, for I mean, sure. Obviously, you know... That was the one thing he's had on them previously. Yeah, and they're, they're like a... They're a bit of the benchmark as well, Jim. You know, they've been so consistent and they are constantly getting good results. So it's going to be a really tough game. And... It's probably it's good for us to be a, a real test at home early on in the season to see where we're at. Must be a good for him to be back. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Um, he's worked so hard. His attitude's unbelievable. It's second to none uh, that I've seen in my career, and you know, it's all credit goes to him and to the medical staff. And so we're all really excited and looking forward to having him back. Do you think it was last week? It was lack of confidence or a bit of hard luck? No, uh, like I said before, I have no idea what Graham Arnold was talking about fear in young players. Um, I was on the field and I didn't, I didn't see any of it or feel, in, feel any of it and uh, I was 100% uh, proud of, of my teammates last week, especially the young guys because for me Connor Chapman was the best player on the field and he's, um, he's certainly a young player so uh, like I say mate, um, those comments I think they're more just to stir the pot again it all comes back to this friendly rivalry and this banter that I'm talking about and uh, Graham Arnold's well aware of what he's doing. You set the young boys a challenge a couple of weeks ago, and you're happy with the response? Definitely. Like I say, last week, you know, I couldn't be, couldn't have been prouder of the boys, and and to go to Wellington against a, a team of men and a very experienced team, for me, we played them off the park and should have won that game. And um, you know, anyone who thinks otherwise should just watch the game again and watch the chances that we had and the chances that we created, and uh, that all came from our young team. Uh, what, what could a win here do? I mean, in terms of the season and the confidence and potentially put us in the top four. That's how early on in the season it is. I like how uh, the media and everyone's focusing on where we are in the ladder and we're three games into a season, but you know they, they need something to write about, so... Got to fill the pages. Yeah, got to fill the pages, eh? We would be worried if we weren't creating chances, and um, last week especially we created a lot of chances, and you know we're so early on in the season that really there's going to be a lot of improvement for every team. Even the teams that are at the top, they've still got a lot to work on and a lot to improve on, and no one will be at their best right now. And uh, we're nowhere near our best, as far as I'm concerned. And we know how much ability we have in that dressing room, and we know what, what expectations we have of our playing group. And obviously, the results haven't been exactly what we would have wanted, but for as long as the, the application and the attitude is, is first class, you know, we know we'll get there. Yeah, everyone was a little bit worried when you came off uh, last week. Is everything okay? Yeah, last week I had a, a slight hamstring problem and didn't really train all week, so it was tough to go over there with, with the flight and everything and, and try and play, but I was happy that I got through 65 minutes and, and you know, could do my part for the team, that's for sure. And it's feeling okay for this week? Yeah, it's feeling great. I've trained all week, this every day this week, which is great, and that obviously helps leading into a big game to be able to be on the training pitch putting in the yards. Uh, can you beat them? Yeah. 100%. Oh. Of course we can win. We've beat them before. We beat them last year at home. What's different other than the fact that we've got a better, a better defensive lineup than we had last year? Of course we can beat them.